Um, so what we're basically going to do is, if you guys remember, um, what the, here we've already talked about the power to power rule. This is going to be what we call the power to product rule, which basically tells us that if we have a, um, if we have a term, if we have an expression with multiple terms, um, and it's raised to the power, then we're going to raise everything to that power. So therefore, this can now be rewritten as 9 to the 1 half power times x times 4 to the 1 half power um, times y to the negative second times the 1 half power. Now, what I think is important when multiplying rational expressions, especially when you have you know, whole numbers as your exponents, is to rewrite them as fractions. Okay. The reason why that's helpful is because now you can see, oh, I'm really just multiplying two fractions, which is important because multiplying fractions is simple. You're not cross multiplying. You're just simply multiplying numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Um, now, 9 to the 1 half, hopefully you guys understand that 9 to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of 9 to the first power, right? Well, we know, should know the square root, of, square root of 9 to the first power, which is just going to be 3. That then turns into x to the 4, o 4 over 2, which, yes, I will simplify in just a second. And this becomes times y to the negative first power. Now, since we have a negative y to the negative first power, that's now going to become, um, to make this positive, we have to put it in the denominator. And then this is going to be simplified to um, x squared. So my final answer is going to be 3x squared over y.